struggled to maintain 50 miles per hour up a maybe 6% grade, even with tow mode switched on. At one point I put my foot flat to the floor for perhaps 40 seconds before the transmission bothered to downshift. Not cool, Chevy it was so bad I actually asked the Ford engineer if they'd detuned the Suburban he laughed and said they hadn't touched him. When the Chevy finally did downshift, the cabin filled up with a wretched, high-pitched wail. Also, the ride quality underload was not so great, the truck seemed to wallow and wobble back and forth, especially uphill. To be fair, a 5,500 pound trailer is near the Suburban's max capacity of 6,300 pounds, but still. The Expedition? Wow, man, it blew the Chevy away. Acceleration was better, braking was way better, ride was superior, the engine note under full load was much deeper, much less harsh, and perhaps most important, the Expedition could easily maintain 50 miles per hour up a good grade. Truth be told, it could do 20 miles per hour faster. The transmission seemed to actually enjoy towing. Most shocking to me, however, was how much more elegant and comfortable the Ford was. I haven't set foot in the new Lincoln Navigator but I have a hard time imagining how it's more luxurious than the Ford. For way too long, Ford allowed what should have been a perennial cash cow to rot out in the pasture. The old expedition wasn't horrible or anything. It was simply not competitive with what Ford's big rival was selling. Ford has flipped the script. The expedition is now the class leader, no ifs, no ands, and no buts about it. If you are a die-hard Chevrolet fan, take solace in the fact that the new GMT 1000 platform body on frame trucks and SUVs are coming sooner than later. Until then, Ford is the new big sheriff in town.